Bank of America, right? Bank of America, what in the hell are you doing? Hurricane Liz here, about to share with you WTF Bank of America. Uh, first, if you haven't subscribed, do so already. But uh, Bank of America somehow wrote a paper or something, I don't know, I, I obviously don't write, to show just how terrified Wall Street is of cryptocurrency. So what they basically did is they went on a rant, right? They went on a rant with this 13,000 word regulatory, regulatory, I can't even say the word, filing Thursday, and they mentioned that cryptocurrencies are causing them all sorts of headaches and potentially stealing away their business. And one of the things that they noted is that as a result of cryptocurrencies, it's going to become very limiting on their ability to track the movement of funds. I mean, Bank of America, you need to get on the freaking train. Cryptos are where it's at and where it's moving to. It's moving to a decentralized platform. If you guys haven't already known it, that basically means that the Fed and our banks don't control our money. That's why cryptos are so exciting for people and, and important. And Bank of America, what they've done, and I'll even note here, instead of actually kind of like opening their arms and saying, you guys can do whatever the hell you want with their money, instead, they're putting a lot of regulations on us being like people that invest our money in the bank. Because obviously, when the bank ledger says that we have $10,000 in our bank account, 93% of that is actually being used by the bank to make more money. So we don't actually have 10000 If the entire population decided to go and re re get their money out of the bank, the bank would go bankrupt because they don't actually have the money in the bank. Obviously, many of you are smart out there and know that. I didn't know it till recently because I'm, I'm not that smart. But here's the thing, and this is the main point that really I wanted to talk about. Like Bank of America, get freaking real. You want to block us from using our credit card to purchase cryptocurrencies? I mean, what happened with America being a free fucking country and us being allowed to pay for whatever the hell we want? I mean, that's the American dream. As long as we're not killing people, killing animals, hurting anyone, doing anything illegal like stealing other people's money, it sounds to me like you guys are stealing other people's money. Hello? You're not allowing me to buy whatever the hell I want, even a fake virtual currency? That's kind of ridiculous. You should start by not trying to limit me on what I buy. So that is my rant about Bank of America. Just wanted to give you guys an update. If you haven't gotten in on the Bitcoin craze, I highly recommend it. In fact, below this video, we actually have a link to show you how to start investing in cryptocurrency. If you click that link below, I will take you over the shoulder, step by step, show you exactly what you got to do in order to get in on Bitcoin and all the fuss about it. But I'll tell you one thing, Bank of America being afraid of this, should open the rest of you guys eyes out there and realize that this is here to stay and you should get in right now on the bottom floor and get excited about it. It's the perfect actual business or whatever you want to call it to get in on right now at the bottom floor. A lot of you guys will be millionaires that follow my advice. So click below, click on that. And if you have any questions, just post it in the comments below. I can't wait to hear some testimonials from you guys that you guys saw this video, got out there and made some freaking money. So Thanks again for tuning in, guys. I will see you next time. Take care.